with letters from his entire exploded Viennese world and dozens and dozens from this girl. I went from archive to archive looking for all the pieces that would allow me to recreate her life and where it intersected with my grandfather's as well. Vali, Valerie Sheftel, was a student at the University of Vienna Medical School. She had come from Czechoslovakia alone to study. Vali was one of the last Jews to receive a diploma from the University of Vienna Medical School. Four days after she received it, Anschluss happened and Jews were expelled. So this is in my grandfather's apartment on Ruebgasse in Leopoldstadt. They are taking a photograph of each other into the mirror. In this picture, Vali is, I believe, in the Vienna woods, which is at the edge of Vienna and where they often like to walk. And at one point she says, do you remember the birch trees in the Vienna woods? And as 39 turns to 40, she's no longer allowed to buy clothes. And then by 41, she's no longer allowed to resell her shoes. And by 42, or the winter of 41, I think, she is no longer allowed to have any warm clothing. And all throughout, they're also being stripped of everything they're allowed to eat. So they lose the right to eat meat and legumes and eggs. And at the same time, she's writing him these letters. Do you remember when we sang Solveig song from Peer Gint to each other? I sing it and I think of you. And I think it's about this memory of freedom. I think she 